Okay, after we've shot our arrows and decided what we're going to do, we need to go from using the hot glue to the permanent insert glue. And as I stated in another video, we were going to use the new 30 odd 6 products. It's called Insert Weld. I had my insert along with the field point soaking in acetone to loosen up any glue residue and so I can clean it. Then I just take out of the acetone and wipe off with a paper towel to clear up any glue that was left. We also did the same thing with the arrow shaft used acetone and a 30 caliber bronze brush to clean the, in, the inside of the carbonara. You need to have those clean so that your insert glue will work and hold. Now what we do is in the glue grooves we're going to use our insert weld go around on each one doesn't take a lot then we will insert the insert into the carbon shaft and at the same time as we come up we will rotate the shaft I don't want to wipe off any excess and wipe down and away down and away down and away I don't want that glue to be on my field point that I can't get it off and I'll come back and I'll just twist back on the carbon shaft and clean up any excess glue back there. Leave that do its bond with the insert. They don't suggest how long it says it takes uh, 90 seconds, about a minute and a half to uh, bond, but I would suggest like any other glue that you would use for inserts and most of it's super glue that we use nowadays is to leave it go 24 hours before shooting to leave it totally cure. That's my recommendation. Okay, to make sure your broadhead and your arrow are in line and your insert is do a spin test that looks pretty good this is an old aluminum ARA straightener unit that I turned into my ARA shaft square and when I cut my arrows to make sure they're square I put them on here there's a piece of adhesive uh, down here uh, sandpaper and you just turn them and square up your arrow into your arrow shafts both for your fletching end and also for the broadhead end. Okay, you can use the same unit, sit your arrow on there and with a paint can on the other end at your broadhead. Now I have the, it says oil base and that B, the point of my arrow fits in the top there. And as I rotate that, it rotates at the same spot. If there was a wobble or your broadhead and arrow aren't straight, which would mean there's a wobble, 
then instead of your head staying right in that B, it might come down to the bottom of it, might come over to the right side or the left side. But this one doesn't have that problem. So there's two ways to check your broadhead and arrow shaft to make sure they're in line.